match continues. And of course, as you see, Lord Magma taking his way, his way out to, to the stage there. As you see Samoa Joe taking apart Rampage in the middle of the ring here. Oh, my goodness. Trips over those steps. And you can't forget about those dangerous still steps. Still being in a play in this matchup. Two are actually being used in this ring with a devastating force. And I think Samoa Joe is going to plan on using it here once again. Oh, my. He's setting Rampage up here. Thank goodness, or Rampage would be, or more man be recounting his blessings out. He's not a hold of this. Samoa Joe, don't do it. Come on. Oh, my God. Right on his spine. Oh, man. That looked bad. Could be injured. I'm definitely thinking more man is definitely pleased with that. Rampage did to him earlier. And that was Rampage on receiving end. Oh, my goodness. We haven't seen this side of Samoa Joe in forever. And we see a nation of violence here tonight. And Lord Magma is seeing Ali by the outside. This is allowing the destruction of Rampage to take place. Because obviously, like, I mean, I'm sure he doesn't want to get sent to hell either. And, oh my, that muscle buster. I don't think these two men might possibly be in the hoots. Oh, oh, never mind. Now we Samoa Joe. Oh, wait, never mind. Lord Magma will bow out. Look at this. And Lord Magma, it's the judgment slam on the Samoa on the steel steps. Obviously, the steel steps won that exchange. And look at this. Now Lord Magma is falling with the last ride to Armageddon. Look at this. Oh my gosh. He slams him down with authority. And help that he could have already been sent to help to Samoa Joe. Despite all the, the, the torment that Rampage went through by Smoker, was still able to kick out. Despite Lord Magma picking his spots, holding it, you know, just waiting on the outside to capitalize, it did not pay off. And now he's going to take his attention to Samoa Joe because Rampage didn't get the three for him. Is this going to Samoa Joe? No, kicks out. You know, both men are up, and I think Lord Magma is more worse for rare for all that effort. Now he's going to taken two. Oh my Samoa Joe collapsed though under his own weight. And Rampage just hit him with the steel steps. This match has been so brutal these men can barely stand on their feet. Samoa Joe completely paralyzed from like the the, the, the waist down. Yeah we just saw this collapsing like three or four times just now just going to show you how weak in his legs are at this point. Now these three men are just fighting on the stage here. I mean, this match, it may not be false count anywhere, but you know, based on how boy, this match has been built up, that these men, they're, they're willing to fight anywhere and go as far as they have to to survive and assemble their opponents to the far depths of hell. I think both all three of these men really need to take some time out, like, like Lord Magma did momentarily, and just heal up and get their breasts back so they can continue on fighting. Oh my. Look at this. It's STF on the rampway here. Lord Magma is just letting it happen. No, folks, there is no harm to come out if you do not get pinned. Only one man will lose this match. So I guess you can say there is two winners. I mean, technically there's only one pinner, but as long as you don't get to sent to hell, that's winning to me. All that these men can ask for, you know, on the grandest stage. I mean, obviously tonight it's all about showing what the showing the world what UWA is all about. It's, it's about getting your pandemonium moment and being remembered for all his, all for all eternity. There's no way you can be remembered for all eternity if you get sent to hell tonight. I mean, maybe you might get a pandemonium moment just being just to be known as a, a person who got sent to hell on the grandest stage. Look at Lord Magma dragging Rampage's lifeless carcass all the way to the ring. Trying to fight their back way to the ring. And Samoa Joe once again just collapses under his own weight. He might be concussed. I don't think Samoa Joe. I don't think these three men know where they are right now. I mean, we apologize, folks, for the lack of action. But what do you expect here on the grandest stage? Where all three of these men are putting their bodies on line just to survive. This is downright brutal, and obviously these fans in Heathens Road Kemon are eating this up. This is what they come to expect, this three guys beating the holy hell out of each other. 
And so that's for all you fans watching at home on YouTube and watching this live on CBB, you know, came to expect going into this that these members pretty much kill each other before getting sent to hell. And we've seen over, over the last year the hatred, the animosity developed between these three individuals. And look at this. Oh, that would at least belly to back or something. Belly to belly. And now this time Lord Magma eats the cold steel of the steel steps. Yeah, we haven't seen this much steel steps usage. You know, since badass Jamie Heineman fought Mitch Waters at the moment's tell back at Square of Despair. And you all remember how brutal that match was. And some people would argue that that match stole the show despite competing against two other Square to Square matches on the card that night. Definitely was a match to remember indeed here. These three want to one up that match on the grandest stage, Pandemonium 11. Moments of position that still steps, but couldn't do his one name and stopped him in his tracks with that steel chair. My goodness, these men need to. Guys have a soul. Not showing any mercy here. Oh my goodness. We knew this table's gonna be put into play eventually. A rampage. Oh no, he can't be thinking this. You, you, you have enough strength to do this. He definitely does not. And he's gonna go. Oh, I guess he's gonna have to go for Samoa Joe instead. See if Lord Mara can't believe he's still just laid out motionless in front of our mouse sit right in front of us. And oh my god, a huge splash off the top rope, taking a little mega on the mouse as our mouse exploded right in front of us. Thanks a lot, Rampage. We told you that we didn't want to stand up for the rest of the show. But then again, we only took the wrestlers to give a damn about the announcers here on the greenest stage. And I'll see you in the You talk about showing mercy. There's no way they're going to show mercy if there's a chance they can get sent to hell tonight. And now Samojo trying his luck by putting Rampage on the Kimlanian announce table. Oh my! Now Samojo hits a splash on a Lord Magma. It's like these two have come to, you know... Oh my. Oh my goodness. What a slam. But it looks like these two have come to the conclusion that the only way they're going to win this match is to put away and just put their differences aside and pin Lord Magma. It's a two to exploding those steel the tables in front of us the announcers tables There's no way Lord Magma can survive this uh, he once again he has the STF on Lord Magma and wait a minute look at that folks Lord Magma actually tapping out to the STF but he had no choice they can put through both announce tables at both Rampage and Samoa Joe. Now obviously these men, they want to win this for themselves because they realize not going to hell is much more important. So they put Samoa Joe Rampage to see like they, as if they had to coexist here tonight. Look at this. I mean, Samoa Joe going off with a huge fault. They are not showing the replay. Like, once again. You saw the fatigue war on Samoa Joe's legs and he kind of hesitated to get the STF in, but he eventually got it. And of course, Lord Mecca had no choice but to tap out. So we all know what's going to happen now. Here's your winner. As a result of a submission, the Samoa Submission Machine, Samoa Joe. That's going to be kind of interesting, folks, to see how this is going to happen. I mean, we've never seen people get sent to hell before. And usually, Lord of Magma is the one who get who sends other people to hell. I mean, the last time we had a, a Howard to Hell match, you know, Vicious, he won, but he ended up getting sent to hell by Vampiro. So, I mean, seriously, this, I mean, I mean old scene, I'm sure you and the fans want to know how, how this is going to work. Oh, wait a minute! Look at this! Wait, Lord of Magma's back up and he has... Joe Fallis throws him down that choke slam. I have no idea, but it was almost as if like Lord Magma was refusing to go down. He's just fighting for his life here, but the match is over. I mean, as we're debating, I mean, how's this gonna work? I mean, is it some ritual or something that gets sent to hell, or he's gonna kill the man? I mean, is he gonna have to volunteer? I'm sure he wouldn't want to voluntarily do it, but it's like he's refusing this stipulation here. What's going on here? Lord Magma refusing to die 
trying to kill both Samoa Joe. Someone like he's trying to sacrifice them instead of himself. Oh my, as he goes over it again. Not in the arm! Oh the judgment slam, Samoa Joe. I think he might have cut that steel steps. Oh no, not look at this. He's going to fall once again for the last ride to Armageddon. Oh! Huge impact. But they're not going down. Lord Mad was trying to kill these men, and they're not. They're refusing to die. There's no way you escape it, Lord Madma. You lost. It's disposing of Rampage and Samoa Joe here. Just throws him out the ring. And what's going on here, folks? I mean, I thought we were supposed to be sent to hell, and he's not. Okay, what the, okay, what's going on here? Wait, look at the ring. The ring. So, something, some force! Oh, I don't think Lord Magma sees it. It's like as if the ring is coming up and... Wait a minute, it looks like some unknown force has Lord Magma... And, oh my goodness! My goodness! My goodness, the, the forces of the underworld must have just, just consumed Lord Magma, grabbed them, and took him down to hell! My goodness! I don't think I've ever seen such a thing ever take place in a wrestling ring like this. A sword for the pandemonium moment. My goodness, have you ever seen anything like that ever happen in the, I don't think so. I mean, seriously, I mean, I want to get done this more, but we have to move on though. Good to see you know, that Coco is, I mean, see, Mickey James is actually willing to not be in the corner of Coco to sure she gets a fair fight tonight. I'm sorry to stutter about We just saw Lord Mag, but I just, I can't get over that, folks. It was just damn unusual as hell. The following contest is a tag team match on his way to the ring from Connecticut. He is out to kill 100 fools. He is the outspoken smart mark. Fool Killer 99. I haven't seen anything like that have ever before since the last time I was stunned by Cinder out of nowhere. I don't know if those two situations were related or what, but we gotta move on here to see Fool Killer crawling. And we all know this upcoming match is a match that we all know you all are dying to see. We'll see which full care, 4 for 99 or 4th dimension full care stays or goes. 